So what's good YouTube, SRT Dave back with another banger video for y'all. If you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit the sub button, like this video, throw that bell on. Coming with bangers only 2024. But yeah guys, I'm back with another video. We almost have 4,000 subscribers. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning into all the videos lately. We on that road to 10K. Hopefully we can hit that goal this year. That's one of my 2024 goals is to hit 10K subs. So make sure you share the video with your friends. And if you learned something, let me know down in the comments. We're gonna talk about why the SRT8 is the perfect first car. This is like my third car now. First car I had, actually I don't think I ever went over this, but first car I ever had was a 1997 Chrysler LHS. And then the second car I had was a 2013 Kia Optima. That is the car that my brother currently drives. I mentioned that on this channel before, but yeah, that's the car my brother drives. And then now we, we obviously in the 2009 Challenger SRT8. I'm about to go find a spot to park up and we're gonna talk about why the SRT8 is the perfect first car. All right guys, so before we park up, I actually had to stop at Amazon Fresh and drop off a package. I'm trying to get the hang of using this camera, bro. This is so confusing. <laughs> like, way more confusing than you might think. Super dirty, but you know, that's the struggles with a black car. And no, we're not getting a wash because it is about to rain on Wednesday. I don't even know if you could film in Amazon Fresh, but we're about to try. I'm so used to filming off a phone. Now I actually have to like mess with the lighting, make sure everything's in focus. I'm literally walking around here with this big ass camera. Hi, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, car videos. <laughs> what kind of car you got? Oh, that's yours? Okay, I got a Challenger SRT. I had one too. For real? Yeah. I got rid of it. Uh, yeah. Nah, it's SRT8. 2009, older one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah, I'm sure your BMW's faster. <laughs> that's funny. He talking about what you a blogger? He said he had a white BMW out here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this is definitely his car. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all mess with it? I know a lot of y'all be liking Beamers, so let me know what y'all think. Y'all taking this? Or y'all taking the SRT8? You already know what I'm taking. SRT8 all day. I was going to get a BMW before I got this car, but I'm glad I didn't. Alright guys, so let me just start off by saying I would 100% recommend an SRT8 as a first car. I'm going to cover five reasons in this video why I would recommend it. Hopefully this can convince you to get a car like mine and get your own SRT8. Without going too much more off track, let's start out with the first thing. The price of these cars compared to like a scat pack is relatively reasonable. I don't know about you guys, but if you're able to get this as a first car, you're blessed. Because my first car was $2,000. Like I said earlier, it was a 1997. Bro, there was no way I was able to get an SRT as my first car. I had to start out low just to be able to get to this point. That's part of the journey, part of the grind, and I'm definitely blessed to be where I'm at right now and blessed that I was even able to have a car at 16 to drive. I'm 22 now and I'm able to own this. So if you're able to own the car I got at 22 when you're like 16, 17, bro, that's crazy. I can go more in depth on the price of my car in another video if you guys want to know how much I paid and how much insurance is and everything like that. I'm not going to include that in this video but I will say that the market for these cars right now is relatively reasonable. You don't have to be a millionaire to own one, especially the older ones, much less like the newer ones. But relative to the newer ones, these cars can be picked up for about like 20 grand, I would say now. 20 grand is going to give you a little $400 payment probably. So if you can make the payment, you feel me? Definitely a, a sweet car to have. I wouldn't go broke trying to have an SRT as your first car. Just definitely got to be smart. But in terms of like 
starting from the bottom and like leveling up there's definitely room for growth if you do choose to get this as your first car so for 20 grand you could get 425 horsepower and you get to drive around an srt i don't really know how you could beat that for i would say half the price of a scat pack you could get an srt8 and be just as happy as you guys know the 6.1 is relatively more mod friendly so if you plan on modding your car you know or you just want an srt and don't want to pay the srt price then the SRTA is definitely a great option, especially because you can literally make it look like a newer car if you want to by swapping out the bumper or by adding new rims like I did or by switching out the headlights to some LEDs. You know, there's a lot of different stuff you could do to make the car look newer, even though it is a 2009. The price is relatively fair for these cars. So if you see one with pretty low miles and around that 20k price point i would say definitely jump on that offer the second reason why i think the srt8 is a good first car is because of the look compared to a lot of other people's first cars bro you driving around in a muscle car you driving around in a v8 as your first car like that's crazy you be whipping around in a challenger who else having this as their first car just look at this thing you got the aggressive look you got plenty of enough speed for your first car and you got the muscle car sound and you got the reliability what else more could you ask for in a first car okay so that kind of leads me into the third thing which would be the performance of the car for a 16 or 17 year old 425 horsepower is plenty it's still going to sit you back in your seat a little bit you know not obviously not as much as like 700 horsepower but 425 horsepower is plenty social media has made everybody think that if your car is not 600 700 800 a thousand horsepower that is slow 425 horsepower especially for a car in 2009 was fast you're going to be able to keep up if not beat a lot of other cars out there on the road that being said you, you got to make sure that you don't go too crazy because you can get hurt in a car like this being able to have this amount of horsepower as your first car will definitely humble you with that being said make sure you do drive careful and learn your car before you start to attempt anything that's risky once you get comfortable in it you'll realize how much faster it is than like a regular economy car like i said i had a kia when i first had that and then jumped to this i felt like this was insanely fast you're going to be more than happy with the speed that you get out of this car the next thing i want to touch on is the reliability of these cars i've had this thing for about two years it's given me little to no problems all i've done was brake maintenance, oil changes, and just regular wear and tear stuff on this car. Knock on wood, I've had no major problems with it. You feel me? This thing gets me through the winter, spring, summer, gets me through every season. I've taken it on long trips, you know, driving two hours, three hours. When you get on it, you're able to go fast, and then you're also able to slow it down and just cruise. So yeah, if you're looking for a first car, you know, you obviously want it to be reliable. That's one of the main things that you look for, because you don't want to just buy a car and have it be a money pit. You wanna learn the car, you wanna mod it, you wanna customize it, whatever the case may be. The last thing I wanna cover is the customization aspect of this car. I know I always say it, but this is a 2009 and it does not look like a 2009. There's so much you can do to these cars to put your own little touch on it. You can change the color of the front lights, you can swap everything, you can get rims, you feel me? You can do spoilers. You can do diffusers, you could do exhaust tips. You can do a lot to these cars to make it your own and put your own little personal touch on it. I think that's very important in a first car because that's the way I got into cars. Even though I didn't start with this, I started with the Kia. I sprayed the rims black. You know, I got tin on the car. I experimented with trying to wrap certain parts of it. But that just got me interested in cars and got me searching for the next car that I wanted which eventually led me to this. I think your first car helps you decide if you wanna get into cars or not. I didn't know I was even gonna get into cars, but when I started doing little stuff to the Kia, that led me to get interested in cars and eventually be able to get this and start modding this. So, all right guys, that's probably gonna wrap up this video. It's getting a little cold out here. I'm probably just gonna take some pictures of my car here. Even though it's dirty, I can still edit them and make it look clean. So I'm probably gonna take some pictures of the car and then probably just get out of here and go edit this video. I hope this video helped you learn something. I hope to convince you to get an SRT8 because I definitely think you should. I think it's a perfect first car. I definitely think that there's room for you to grow. If you do get this, you're able to go up to a Hellcat or you know mod this to be as fast as you want. You're also able to keep it reliable keep it small you know 425 horsepower to start is a good baseline for you to learn how to drive a faster car i think you get the complete package with an srt8 and i couldn't recommend it more let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this video i hope to help 
a couple of you guys out if you're debating on what to buy for your first car. And other than that, just stay tuned for the next video. It's SRT Dave, and I'm out.